Hi right, guys, today we're going to be taking on Miguel. He has beaten me before. Uh, the the best bot I've beaten was a 2000, but I got some stick in the comments saying it's and I, I didn't really beat a 2000 because it was it was Natasha the Adaptive 2000. So today we're going to be trying to prove myself in beating a 1900, which would be a first in a lifetime feat for me. So let's see what we can do. I've got a, the first subscriber battle of the channel coming up tomorrow, guys. So if you aren't in the Discord ready. There's about six, seven of us now uh, going to be participating, but it'd be great to get a few more people into the tournament. Uh, so if we take, uh, yeah, we probably take here. Yeah. It's always good to take with an outside pawn into the center and then, because now we've got two central pawns and they've only got one. So that's a slight advantage for us. I'm glad that bishop isn't coming in. So now we can play this move, force the trade. Does leave us with a sort of weak pawn here though. Say if this, this, this. This pawn here would always be weak to the queen and maybe the rooks long term, doubling up. Uh, well it's defended by, by the bishop. I favour the tempo and activity of this move. Even though this may be a liability in the future. So now, this looks good targeting this pawn, but it's defended. We, we do want to break in the center. Uh, if we could add some more support to the center with a move like this. Ooh, okay. Let's look into take this pawn. No, nah, if they take this pawn, that's just pinning their own piece to the queen. Surely not. But now this looks good. I don't really know what this move does. Okay, I see, I see. But now this is fine. So now this closes off the bishop. That bishop comes here, but then we go like this, this, and we've got a fine position. Uh, if takes, takes. Queen protects. I, I really don't like the takes. It just leaves these pawns sort of on their own. I, I prefer the push or just maintaining the tension here. Uh, I think the push, because then we win this pawn after, right? Uh, just checking there's no little tactics. I think that's just a clean pawn. So now we can... Well, no, if we play that, but then takes. Uh, this looks like a solid move, or this. I get... What can the queen do here? I don't, I don't know what the queen's actually doing. Maybe we just go back. Bishop's pretty solid on that square. Also just here. Uh, it pro it's a bit of a decision because this is going to be a big long-term impact where this bishop is. So I like the fact that long-term this bishop could be eyeing up the king on this square if the castle uh, king side. Here it's nice to have a bit of extra defense. I think on balance this is better. It's just a bit of a tough call. Okay, for example, if they castle now, I get this move, check. King moves, and I, I win the bishop. So that, that's why I wanted this bishop on this diagonal. Gonna make it a bit awkward for them to castle. So, let's deal with this issue, and give our king some breathing room. I guess they'll go back, maintain the pressure. Oh, wow, <laughs> all the way back. Okay, so now I think we've got a better position, guys. We can throw in check. Takes... If, uh, if blocks, we go here, but then that just develops their, their knight for them. So I don't like that. We could push. It blocks our bishop in. And actually, we want to maintain this threat along if the king ever castles. Ah, so we've got a cup of tea, guys. We're going to really think this one through. Um, when we beat the 2000 bot, I think it took us like 15, 20 minutes. So I think castling here is fine. Uh, I'm just a bit worried about this pawn. A good move generally is to line a rook up with the queen, but I think for now let's get castled. Wow, big move, okay. That's a big statement from Miguel. So that is definitely saying that they're going to leave their king in the center or try and somehow castle this side, but 
But this bishop is going to be tough. Maybe this and this is coming because this bishop, bishop is such a threat. Let's have a little sip of tea. Stay hydrated. So there's this move. Which just loses the pawn. <laughs> uh, but if this... Then maybe we could... It'd give us the option to push. It's nice to have options. It'd also give us the option to do this. I think this is a flexible move. Maybe it, the queen could go here, but then we just go rook up one. And everything's held together. I think. Yeah, so we thought this was coming. So if this, here, here, block, and then back here... Wait, here? There? There. Block. Back here. But then they push this pawn. But then we go here. I, I want to leave this bishop on this diagonal, and that's what Miguel's trying his hardest to to not do. It's all about it's all about this bishop, guys. Yeah, so we can now hit this queen, which I like. This is a really good diagonal for our bishop now. Uh, maybe they could go queen here, but like I say, we go rook here. Okay. They go back, okay. Right, how do we navigate this, guys? How do, what do we do? Oh, thank you to IK Team who just commented. Good channel, wondering why it's not that popular. <laughs> just saw that on my on my laptop in the background. I keep getting a lot of lovely comments, so honestly, thank you to you all. Uh, yeah, I'm maybe gonna improve the channel a little bit and put my put my webcam on so you can see my reaction when I blunder a piece and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so let me know if you want to see that. Uh, so here, threatening this pawn with check looks nice. Um, this queen does blockade this this pawn, which is annoying, so I'd like to somehow... That looks okay, but then if takes, we get a, a weird pawn, and this is loosened. It loosens the defense of this pawn if this pawn goes over here. So, that's not available. What about the push? Takes, takes, we're happy. You also get a semi-open rook. I think the push is good. Is there any benefit to repositioning this knight? I'm not sure what this knight is doing right now. It's staring into these pawns. I like the push. Their king is in the center. We want a break in the center, you know? So th taking with this... Starts to double up our rooks and our queen, maybe on this file, just... I think we've got a better position. We're ahead in development, so we want to just take the brutal approach, bring the rooks and the queen, and just start tearing things apart in the center, I think. Takes with bishop, I, I don't know what that does. If takes with rook... Ah, no, they do have that though, don't they? Uh, skewering my rook. So I do have to take with this. Yeah. And now they can castle because this is no longer a threat because the queen's blo blockading. Uh, this is still... Uh, it's, it's looking good for this bishop. Maybe here to sort of stop this pawn progressing, get the bishop back here. Uh, whenever this knight moves, I've got this move. So maybe bishop back so the knight cannot develop. So it's going to be awkward for the rook to develop. So if here, knight, here, attacking the queen. A little bit slow, but it's, it's preventative. So now we can do this anyway, and I'm happy. We've got our rook into the game, starting to double up our rooks. And uh, we're threatening to trap the queen maybe later on as well. So. Hmm. 
maybe this move takes takes we get another rook in hmm what about this and this now looking at maybe that in the future this knight needs sorting out but that would currently lose a, a bishop uh This move with the queen looks a bit passive. I'm, I'm one point of material up, guys. A queen trade certainly isn't bad for me. Uh, what if they go like that? We take... Do we do it? The queen trade's fine. Let's try it. Get the little pre-move going. And now I just thought this looks strong. We're just doubling our rooks up. Uh, is there any way we could get both our rooks on this rank? On this seventh row? Our second? Uh, I think for a start that looks good. Maybe then we can look to do this. We're going to be more active in the end game with these rooks. That's my main, my main thing, which makes me think that I'm slightly ahead. And now they can't move either of these rooks because then the bishop would fall. So if here, like, take, take, take. So I'm putting a lot of pressure on the position. I think this dark square bishop could be important with their rooks on dark squares. I'd love to get this bishop in to like this square, for example. Uh, this takes takes. Are we happy? You know what? I like that now. Threatening this. But then they take to. Yeah. What about this? No, we just lose a rook, don't we? Uh, that would not be good. So. It's just a question of how do we convert this slight advantage. Uh, I'm just, just shouting out moves in my head. Uh, I'm looking forward to that tournament tomorrow, guys. Join the Discord, link in the description. And uh, yeah, leave a like on the channel so our channel can grow. A lot of people have been saying recently that we should have more subscribers. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a special thing for my first 200 subscribers as well, so get in. Uh, let's have a sip of this Coke, get some blood sugar going. So, Bishop here. It, it just looks like a nice move, because we can threaten that and that. And if takes... Uh, or we can threaten that, 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 then takes... You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a threat, I think. Is there any counterplay? What if this? We just take. This is getting a little bit loose. I'm leaving a loose piece. So I'm, that's why I'm just triple checking this. Uh, I think it's okay. Ah, so that defends this. I was thinking if takes, 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 takes. If I lose both my rooks, but I get a bishop and a knight for the rook, which is just another little advantage, isn't it? What if this takes, takes, and I'd be threatening to, to come in with, the, with both my rooks. Ooh, it's all very tempting. What about just pushing the pawn? And then we're threatening that. Here. If takes, we go here. Here. Not quite working, I don't think. Oh, we're so close, guys. Having a winning position, but I'm not sure if it is yet. Uh, so, right. This was what I was looking at initially. So, takes here. Takes here. And then takes... And the rook has to move and we go back. Let's just scan that again. Takes here. Takes. Have they got any in-between move? Don't think so. 
try it. Okay. So two pieces for the rook is, is generally considered like good. Uh, I'm not sure in this case. But so what does this rook move do? The rook is looking active. We've got three pieces, all right? We've got an extra piece, so we need to get this knight active. That's the question. Can we do that and that? Maybe allowing this followed by that. Threatening to promote. Check. Probably here. I think getting this knight involved is key. Why didn't they go after this pawn? Because we can go like that and lock everything together. I'm very happy I've got that this move. Just, just holding this side of the board together. Preventing their pawn from pushing. And yeah, it looks nice. Let's try it. Okay. As intended. That stops our knight coming in. Ah. What about this? Takes, takes. Uh, then we can maybe get our knight in a little bit better. I think I like this. Does it leave this pawn a bit weak? For the rook? Maybe. Maybe I want to just get the king up, you know. Yeah. If this holds this together. If I can get my king involved, I think... That's just another little advantage, isn't it? For example, if takes takes, that gets our king right into the game. And this defends this, so maybe we can push this pawn? What is this threatening now? Like, this? That's still defended. If this, 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 we're defending everything. Getting our king active, it looks good, I think. What if, check. Hmm, that's the only thing. Check looks annoying. So what if we push the pawn, what if we push the king one more? Uh, let's try it. So now this. Takes, takes. That defends that, that defends that. Let's go for it. Now if this, now what? A bishop is pinned, so this would be a move. And then we'd sort of lose the, yeah. <laughs> what about that? Check, take. Pick the bishop, there's a tactic there, but it's fine, it's fine. Uh, this. this forces a trade, right? There they go here. Take, take, and then we go take, take. We might be losing this weak pawn at the end if the, if the rook decides to go here. Maybe we hold on to this bishop a little longer. Bishop is strong. What about here? Here or here, I'm thinking. This square, this square. Uh, this feels more natural. But actually, this one, the rook can't hit us, and it also puts pressure on this pawn here. So maybe we try that. And I'm taking my time here, guys, but I've never beaten a 1900. You what? <laughs> Not in my wildest dreams did I see that move. <laughs> oh no. What a humiliating mate that is. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe. Make me feel better after that defeat. See you later.